Number 10. These hanging containers are easy to use and will keep things off the ground. It's the perfect toy organizer for lighter toys like stuffed animals or dolls, but could hold something like bowls as well. Keep in mind that young children will probably not be able to reach the upper shelves on the hanger, so it might be best as a place to store toys that your child will use occasionally rather than ones that get a lot of daily use. When not in use, the hanger will fold down flat so that it won't take up a lot of space. Number 9 these little bags make toy organization easy, because all your child has to do throw her toys in a bag and put the bag away. The small window in the bag makes it easier to identify which toys are in which bags. The best thing about these little bags is that you can customize the size. You might need a large one for trains and train tracks, but a small one for a tea set. Want to take the idea a bit further? Create these as swoop bags, which open out to a large circle for playtime. When it's time to clean up, just put all the toys on the ring, then pull strings to swoop them up. Number 8 Most parents simply want things off the ground. That's what makes this idea so efficient. The over-the-door hanger is the perfect home for smaller stuffed animals. Tell your child that she can only keep as many animals as there are pockets, and you'll help keep the numbers to a minimum. Additionally, note how they've used cheap laundry baskets for storage. You can keep them off the floor with the large hooks, but easily take them down when your child wants to play with the toys. This works well for things like dollhouse furniture, toy cars, and trains, or dress-up clothes. Number 7 Stuffed animals seem to multiply like little stuffed bunnies. They come from carnivals and well-meaning relatives. If you've got an imaginative child who loves animals and gives each one a name, you'll have a hard time getting rid of them. This is a simple open box with strong elastic cables forming the bars. Since it's open, your child can easily see all of the animals inside. When putting an animal in or taking one out, the bars simply pull over to the side. Personalizing it and calling it a zoo might just make your child a little more enthusiastic about using it. Number 6 In a small room, space is at a premium, so you have to make use of every square inch. Drawers that go under the bed are an ideal way to access all of the space under the bed. Purchase a bed frame that already has drawers underneath or considers a trundle bed without the mattress. What makes the design in this picture so perfect is having the additional containers inside the drawer. This allows you to better sort the toys and easily take them out when your child wants to play. Number 5 These simple shelves would look just as great in your living room as they would in the playroom. While many people start with a basic rack and place boxes on the shelf, this tower is unusual because the boxes are built right in. With large boxes on the bottom, middle-sized ones in the middle, and a first shelf on the top, you'll have plenty of space for toy storage. Space for labels in the front can help children keep things organized. Paint this shelf any color to match your decoration. Number 4 This cute garage is made from a shoe rack. Rather than assemble the shoe rack as you're supposed to, just mount the pieces on the wall for a convenient place to park the toy cars. It could be easily made with small planks of wood and wall brackets as well. If you're going to do this, plan the height carefully so that your child can quickly put his toys away. You may also need to take care to design it so that they don't roll off. Number 3 These classic cube-style shelves they're readily available at most big box stores, and the prices are quite reasonable. Use the storage boxes, which come in a variety of colors and can be purchased separately, to stash toys quickly, then store things like books and games in the open cubes. Place larger items on top. Cube shelves typically come in a variety of sizes, from a single row of four cubes to large units of six by six. Remember that the larger the unit, the more difficult it is for children to reach things on top. Number 2 The wire baskets in this toy storage might typically hold blooming flowers, but they're still a good way to contain toys. With their open design, 
It's easy enough to hang them on the wall with off few nails, but you'll be able to take them down for playtime. Small coverings at the bottom ensure the toys don't fall out, and labels help with sorting, though many parents keep the mess at bay by only allowing the child to play with one basket at a time. Number 1. Your little princess won't need a fairy godmother to help her put her toys away when she has this adorable toy chest. The top opens up for toy storage, but the cushion on top is the perfect place to sit with a good book or share secrets with good friends. Best of all, the colors and design will fit right in with any princess-themed bedroom.